morning, I'm Alec. Welcome to yet another Drive Time with Alec where I drive around and talk to myself in my car. That's right. Well, here we are, and uh, topic for the day. You ready? We're going to dive right in. Boom. Diving. Right in. You can tell it's raining, so if I crash and die, it's because I live in Orange County and no one knows how to drive in the rain here. So, that'd be an awkward drive time. It's been requested. All right. Productivity. Productivity. Productivity for some of you. I get several questions every now and then about, they go, Alec, got any tips on productivity? Like I know what that means. I don't know. So, sure. They just think they, I do a lot of things, and so that means I'm productive. I don't know if that's true. But I do do a lot of things. So here's a couple tips. If you work all day and it's in the same place, most of us do, um, or you find yourself uh, in an office situation, it might be more aw- awkward if you're in a queue, but stay with me. Make this happen. So I purchased a standing desk. Why? Because I care about my health and my life. See the inference there? That if you don't have one, you don't care about your health and your life? Sitting is killing you. Seriously, God above, it's killing you. Turning into a T-Rex. So, invested in a standing desk. Best thing ever. Seriously, Geek Desk is pretty cheap, 700 bucks. That's pretty cheap for some. The one I bought is an L. It's like, it's it's all mechanical because I want to stand up, but I'm too lazy to actually lift the desk myself. Do that math. But... Literally every half an hour, I need you need to change positions. Sorry, that's the deal. Every half an hour, you need to do something to change your... If you find yourself in the same position for two hours, you're not doing anything anymore. I know you think you are, but you're not. you got to keep your energy level high. So, standing desk, up and down. Stand up, sit down. Fight, fight, fight. i got a pull-up bar in my office. Sorry, that's awesome. But I do a couple pull-ups. Sometimes they're strict L-hang pull-ups. That's just what I do sometimes. People walk in and they're like, whoa... Do some push-ups. Do some quick fists. Do something to get your energy level up. Do something to move around every 30 minutes. And if you're not um, on a schedule, just program it into your phone. Just program an alarm in your phone every 30 minutes to move around. It'll go off and you'll be like, oh, I've been sitting staring at the computer for 30 minutes and did nothing. It'll happen. That person almost died. They uh, spun out and turned right there. So... Seriously, that's an example of a way to be productive. Or switch gears every 30 minutes. Work on something, work on something else. Um, Multitasking, uh, lots of, I don't know, just personal view, personal view. Don't multitask. Just focus on one thing, crank, and then if you need a break from it because you're stuck or you're getting whatever, then break. Do something else. If you don't have anything else to do, then that's your problem. Get a life that has stuff to do. Lastly, if you find yourself uh, not in a sedentary space all day long, like a cube or an office. By the way, if you're in a cube, still do this stuff. Who cares about what other people think? Seriously, stop caring about them. They don't matter. Get up and do 10 air squats and sit back down and they'll be like, what? And if you have a, uh, bring a PVC pipe and do overhead squats in your cube. Seriously, someone send me a video of that. Please, please. But I want a candid video. I want people not to know you're going to do it. God, that'd be awesome. But seriously, stop caring about them. Move around. Just don't be sitting there all day. Oh, and if you're in a car because you drive all day and you have to drive and drive and drive, then books on tape, call people and tell them you love them, do things in the car that you can be productive. I don't recommend like taking notes or writing books in the car, but uh, definitely books on tape is a good way to deal with the car stuff. Just pour knowledge into your head while you're driving around. All right, that's all I got. You got questions, you got thoughts, you got concerns. You want my home address to send me a gift this Christmas? Hit me up, send me a comment. Do something. I don't know. That's all I got. That's it. Such a good song. I'm going to enjoy it. Enjoy your day.